Have you ever had an ex or someone you dated that just came out of the woodworks right before the holidays? Well, guess what? This is called the cuffing season. And we're gonna talk about it today and how to avoid falling for this dating trap. Well, welcome back to another episode of Bewitched to Love Struck series. And I gotta tell you, I'm so happy you're here. Today, I'm dressed as the Mad Hatter, as you can see. I don't know why I have so many darn costumes. Well, it's because I love Halloween, come on. Uh, remember, we have a contest going, so please stay tuned for the secret code word. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Amy Lettingham. I'm a master certified relationship coach, and I have to tell you, I love working with singles and helping them become conscious, make conscious choices, and find the love of their life. And I will say, a lot of my clients are empty nesters, people that are just sick and tired of you know, having the same cycle of bad relationships. Now they're done with it, they want something different, and they want to fast track to the real love they deserve. So today I'm gonna to share with you what cuffing season is and why you have to avoid this dating trap. The cuffing season has a time period between fall and winter. And during these times, singles get really sad and lonely because of the holidays and they don't wanna show up at parties by themselves or they're, they don't wanna explain themselves to their family members that why they're single again. So a lot of singles go out there looking for companionship just for the holidays. I wanna share with you three tips on how you can avoid falling for this trap. So tip number one, I want you to make a breakup list. And this is so important because of the fact that we forget why the relationship ended. Exes are exes for a reason. And when they come out creeping up saying, you're so beautiful. Oh, I wish I never ended my relationship with you. I can't live without you. And you look at your list and it says, he cheated on me. She doesn't want to have kids. They never wanted a commitment with me. That's a red flag that you can't ignore, right? even with those words of affirmations, that will help you hold your non-negotiable strong and say, okay, I deserve better. I gotta say no to what I don't want to make room for what I do want. Tip number two is balance your heart with your head. All right, I know it sounds easy, but if you can prepare your mindset to know that this is gonna be coming during the holiday season, then when somebody approaches you and acts this way, you have a set you know, response or you're prepared for it and you won't get caught off guard. Tip number three is for you to be the chooser. Why? Because when you're sitting there with no opportunities or prospects, you get lonely, you get desperate, and you fall for that ex, the one that comes back and gives you all the kind words and saying that you're beautiful, that they wanna be with you. So if you're the chooser, you're strong enough to know, hey, I have needs, I have non-negotiables, I'm gonna find somebody that can meet them. I'm not gonna go back to something that I know didn't work the first time. So the secret code word is seasons. Tune in next week because I will be announcing the winner of the contest. And I just wanna say thank you so much for joining me for this Be Witch Love Struck series. I hope you learned a lot. Comment, share, tell us what your thoughts are from the whole entire series um, because we love to hear from you. And finally, if you haven't grabbed my free dating traps that are keeping you single, please do visit amythedatingcoach.com and grab your copy today. I do offer free webinars and tons of free tips and advice on there. So look forward to uh, meeting you again. And thank you so much for joining us today.